Question 3. This is a neutralization between the sodium hydroxide and the H2SO4 to form the salt and water. Okay, part 8. Define enthalpy change of neutralization. So you just need to know that it's the formation of one mole of water from the reactions between the H plus and hydroxide. So it's always one mole of water. Okay, from aqueous acid and alkaline aqueous acid and alkaline under standard condition it's better for you to put this under standard condition because the neutralization is happened under standard condition which is 25 degrees C 101 kilopascal okay part B volume and concentration of NaOH given same as the HSO4 volume and concentration and the initial temperatures is 21.4 maximum temperatures measured use equation one to calculate the amount of h2so4 that neutralized in this experiment uh, it's better for you to calculate the mole of sodium hydroxide okay which is 0 0.1 mole and the mole of h2so4 use the mv over thousand you get 0 0.06 okay so from here because we know that two moles of NaOH will react with one mole of H2SO4. And the limiting agent obviously is the sodium hydroxide. Because if 0 0.06 mole of H2SO4 use is supposed to be 0 0.12 of NaOH needed. Now, in, in this reaction mixture, it just has 0 0.1 mole. So limiting agent is this. Therefore, the H2SO4 that being neutralized must follow limiting agent. That's why we use 0 0.1 over 2. So this is the actual H2SO4 that being neutralized. Not this, uh, not this is this one 0 0.05 okay after that you have to calculate the theoretical uh, maximum temperature of the reactions or the re from the reaction mixture okay follow all these uh, things that given right okay this one i'm not going to go through right so you should know already and uh, for the working part First, you need to know how to calculate the enthalpy. Enthalpy is equal to negative. Okay, Q, Q is the heat that released over 1000 N. So Q normally is in terms of Joule. Joule, you need to convert to kilojoule by dividing okay, using 1000. So joule over thousand you get kilojoule. So when the heat in kilojoule over mole, then you get enthalpy. Okay, remember negative sign must be there. Okay, so now since in this part already given enthalpy change of neutralization, the theory is negative fifty seven point one. So we use the values that given equal. K2 negative Q over 1000 times 0 0.1. The mole, we must use the mole of limiting agent, right? Because this one is one to one ratio, right? So we use the mole of limiting agent, the NaOH, 0 0.1. Okay, after that, you should get Q. Q will be 5710 Joule. Okay, once you find this joule, this Q, then you can use the MC delta T, MC delta T equal to the, the Q. So the mass, remember, because it's two solutions added together, 50 plus 60. So the total volume is 110 means 110 gram as well because the density of water is 1 cm cube 1 gram ok 
okay, times the specific heat capacity of water times delta T. The delta T you should get 12.4 degrees C. <clears throat> so maximum temperature is 12.4 plus 21.4. You get 33.8 degrees C. And remember, delta T is a different between the initial and final. So this one, when you calculate, you get 12.4 Kelvin, but actually it can be 12.4 degrees C because it's the different. Whenever it's different, okay, we can use uh, the Kelvin to the degree C. And therefore, answer is 33.8. Part C. Balance this equation. Complete the equation now for part one. The ethanoid acid with NaOH, okay, it will form the sodium ethanoid with water. So this one is actually one one here. So all all they are one to one ratio. And the enthalpy given is negative fifty five point two. Okay, so for part two, we know that there is a difference between the strong acid, strong base, and strong base and weak acid. Strong acid, strong base, it will produce more exo, <clears throat> more exo delta H neutralization. When the strong base and weak acid, it produce less exo values. So you need to explain why. Okay, it's become less exo. It's very easy. First, you need to know this ethanoic acid is a weak acid. It needs energy to let it ionize and form the anion and the hydrogen ion. So because the energy is needed to ionize this carboxylic acid, some of the energies will absorb to do this process. That's why some of the heat disappear or lost okay, for this. So become less excellent. Okay, that's why you need to explain additional energy is needed to dissociate weak acid. Dissociation of this weak acid is required energy. Right? That's why this one is less exo. This one is less exo than the strong acid and strong base reaction. That's all. Thank you.